Hello students and welcome to your English lesson. This is a lesson for grade 8 and our topic today is summer plans. I'm Alenka Taslak and I will be your teacher today. For this lesson you need a pencil, a notebook, a tablet or a laptop or a mobile phone and a good internet connection. By the end of this lesson, you will show the understanding of a short text you read about uh, the plans for the summer. You will also use going to future when you write a short text according to specific guidelines about your plans for this summer. Where are you going to spend this summer? At the seaside. In the mountains. In the countryside, abroad in another country, at home, or at your relatives. Now copy the following link into your web browser or scan the QR code in order to do the exercise where you should match the definitions to their explanations. Here are the answers. At the seaside means at a place by the sea, especially a beach area or holiday resort. In the countryside, the land and scenery of a rural area. In the mountains, part of earth that is very wide and very tall. Abroad, in a foreign country, in another country, at home, in one's own house, at my relatives, at the members of one's family. If I'm going to spend my summer at the seaside, I'm going to buy the following things. But before I mention the things I'm going to buy, pay attention to going to future. I use going to future because I'm talking about my plans. I haven't arranged anything, these are just my plans. When we talk about future plans, we need going to future. Therefore, I'm going to buy a bottle of sunscreen, a beach towel, a beach umbrella. Flippers, snorkel mask and breathing tube, and a new pair of flip-flops. If I'm going to spend my summer at the seaside, I'm going to swim, bathe, sunbathe, go windsurfing. Windsurfing is a sport in which you sail across water, by standing on a board and holding onto a large sail. I'm also going to go kite surfing or kiteboarding. It's a new sport in which you also stand on a board while being pulled by a kite. Airtime can be also measured in this sport. It is the amount of time spent in the air, of course. Uh, from 2024, kite surfing will be a permanent Olympic discipline. The 2024 Summer Olympics will be held in and around Paris. I'm also going to go surfing and play beach volleyball. If I'm going to spend my summer in the mountains, I'm going to buy a mountain bike, hiking shoes, a tent, a sleeping bag, and a hiking backpack. If I'm going to spend my summer in the mountains, I'm going to hike, go fishing, go camping, go rafting, and go mountain biking. Now copy the link into your web browser or scan the QR code in order to do the following exercise. 
Your task is to match the pictures to the words you can hear. If you click on the audio card, you will hear the word. Flip-flops. You can click on it as many times as you like. Flip-flops. Flip-flops. If you match the wrong pair, it is not a big deal. Uh, you can always click here between the audio card and the picture card to undo your action. When you match the correct pair, it will disappear from the screen, so you can have more space to do the rest of your task. Good luck with your task! If I am going to spend my summer abroad, I am going to book a hotel, buy a ticket, for example, a bus ticket, a plane ticket, go sightseeing, take photos, visit museums and art galleries. If I'm going to spend my summer in the countryside, I'm going to feed the animals, work in the garden, have a barbecue, eat outside and have a picnic. If I'm going to spend my summer at my relatives, I'm going to hang around with my relatives. Play board games, play cards, or watch scary movies. If I'm going to spend my summer at home, I'm going to FaceTime with my friends. What is FaceTime? It is a face-to-face -face contact. When you talk to someone on the phone, you can see that person and the person can see you. It is an expression for a video call. I'm also going to sleep long, play games, and read books. A holiday that you take at home or near your home is called staycation, a word formed from parts of two other words, stay and vacation. There is another expression for staying at home during your holidays. It is holistay, a word formed from holiday and stay. Common activities during staycation are swimming in the backyard pool. You can be very creative here. Visiting local parks and local festivals. Now copy the following link into your web browser or scan the QR code in order to do the exercise where you should put the given expressions into four categories. At the seaside, in the mountains, in the countryside or abroad. There is an expression feed the animals in this case. You should click on it, drag it and drop it in the right place. And in this case, the right place is in the countryside, of course. Now have a look at the picture and answer the following question. What is Kate going to do this summer? You can see that Kate is uh, thinking about four things. Uh, it means that she hasn't arranged anything. These are her plans. When we talk about plans, uh, we use going to future. Your task is to say four sentences about Kate's plans for this summer and to use going to future in your sentences. The answers are Kate is going to swim. She is going to book a hotel. She is going to feed the animals. She is going to sleep long. Now have a look at this picture and answer the same question about John. What is he going to do this summer? Remember, your task is to say four sentences about John's plans for this summer and to use going to future in your sentences. Here are the answers. John is going to go sightseeing. When you say John is going to go, you repeat the same word two times, going to go, and there is no need for that. When there is a verb to go, you can just omit it and say the sentence without it. John is going sightseeing. Instead of 
he is going to go rafting, you can say he is going rafting. Instead of he is going to go kite surfing, you can say he is going kite surfing. Instead of he is going to go mountain biking, just he is going mountain biking. Now you will read a dialogue. This is your task after the reading. Are the following statements true or false? Correct the false ones. Anne is visiting her friends at the seaside. She has arranged everything. She is going camping and rafting with her relatives. She FaceTimed her relatives yesterday. Here is the dialogue. Tom, summer is almost here. Anne, I can hardly wait for summer. Tom, what are your plans? Anne, I am going to visit my friends at the seaside. I haven't seen them for ages. Tom, that could be interesting. Have you arranged everything? Anne, not really. They don't know about my plans, but I will tell them all about it. I am going to have a great time on my holidays. But first, I am going to buy a new pair of flip-flops, new hiking shoes, a tent, and a beach towel. Tom, don't forget a beach umbrella and a bottle of sunscreen. And, thanks for reminding me. We are going to swim and sunbathe. There are beautiful mountains nearby. We are going camping and rafting. On my way home, I am going to visit my relatives. We are probably just going to hang around, watch scary movies, and sleep long. I have always enjoyed their company. Tom, luckily you don't have to wait long to talk to them again. And I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I FaceTimed them yesterday, but I didn't tell them anything. It will be a great surprise. Now it's time to do the task. Are the following statements true or false? Correct the false ones. The first sentence, Anne is visiting her friends at the seaside, is false. If we say Anne is visiting her friends, it means that she has arranged everything with her friends. And that is not the case. Instead of Anne is visiting, we should say Anne is going to visit because these are just her plans. Uh, the next sentence, she has arranged everything, is also false, because she has not arranged everything. The next sentence, she is going camping and rafting with her relatives, is also false, because she is going camping and rafting with her friends. And the last sentence, she FaceTimed her relatives yesterday, is true. Now you should pause the video, rewind it backwards, and read the text once again. After this reading, you should answer the following questions. Who is Anne going to visit? What is Anne going to buy? What is Anne going to do with her friends? What is Anne going to do with her relatives? And here are the answers. Anne is going to visit her friends and relatives. Anne is going to buy a new pair of flip-flops, new hiking shoes, a tent, a beach towel, a beach umbrella, and a bottle of sunscreen. Anne and her friends are going to swim and sunbathe. They are going camping and rafting. Anne and her relatives are going to hang around watch scary movies, and sleep long. Now it's time for your homework. Write a short text about your summer plans. Write 80 to 90 words. Use going to future when writing about your future plans. Answer the following questions. Where are you going to spend your summer holidays? What are you going to buy? Who are you going to visit? What are you going to do? This checklist will help you. Once you have done your homework, check if you have written 80 to 90 words, if you have used going to future, if you have mentioned the place, the things to buy, the people to visit, and the things to do. That would be all for today. Bye-bye.